hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl AZ Nia Williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel can you click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video okay guys so happy new month um today is the second day of April yes guys and yesterday was the first of April obviously and it was april fool's day and our girl the one and only star girl decided to prank her fans and her colleagues and her friends and trust me a lot of them fell for it not me though because i read captions uh-huh i read captions before i start commenting on any picture well she posted this and she said 2021 has been amazing i just want to thank god i got my second house in abuja this post is to let you know that if you can dream it you can do it and you should set a goal so you can live a life above reproach and you will not be treated like a cockroach this journey for me started from a desire and i perspired and i acquired houses the journey required a lot of pictures of my future straight from the scriptures Thanks to all my beautiful elects and Kedrickans and all supporters with every other name. I love you and please tell the real owner of the house. <laughs> I'm not trying to steal their house so it's just because it's the first day of the fourth month of the year and they usually do some things to celebrate it. So let's celebrate and have a nice housewarming party. Now a whole lot of people fell for it. I mean you could see from what I'm showing you guys here a lot of people are like congratulations a lot of them did not read it like i mean that shows you a lot of people don't just read captions they would just rush straight ahead to the comment section to comment i mean it happens even here on youtube you will see as if they put a caption or something you will not even see if there's a question marko mbano you will just rush to go and air your opinion i think this will show a lot of people before you um go ahead to comment if it's a youtube video watch if it's an instagram post read so that you not be like these people that are here anyways it's april fool's day's um prank so it's really really nothing apparently um erica wanted to do another kind of prank but she decided not to i mean i thank god she did not do this particular one um she tweeted this and said i almost did the i said i said yes prank but i thought about the problems it will cause trust me it would have caused a lot of wahala now um she reacted to people going ahead to congratulate her on her new april fool's day house without actually reading the caption this is what erica had to say this is proof that you guys don't like to read captions at all because i made it very clear in the caption that it is not my house i said if you see the real owner of that house let me just let the person know that i'm not trying to steal your house no. but you guys are still writing congratulations anyways i claim it in jesus name amen i will buy a million houses <laughs> yes guys that was erica reminding you guys again to read captions before you comment it's not that hard now away from erica let's go over to the one and only kid flipping wire so apparently kid wire also wanted to do an april fool's day prank but he thought you know it's, it's good he doesn't do that i mean and this is what he said he said i'm pretty sure if i was to do april fools um they would okay let me read that again. I'm pretty sure if I was to do April Fools, they would now say Bilonia son Kid Wire purposely lies to the whole nation on the eve of Good Friday and lends to chase clout. Okay, Good Friday and Lent to chase clout further, increasing the price of fuel. <laughs> <laughs> isn't this the truth and funny enough when he tweeted this a lot of people had the reaction like oh must he talk must he talk and i'm like you guys just confirmed what he said a lot of blogs would have you know twisted the whole um thing to suit their own whatever agenda that they have but my point is 
why is it that when it's Kid Wire, we don't give him the same, uh, we don't cut himself slack? Seriously, why is it that when Kid Wire speaks, you people don't want him to talk? You feel like he's chasing clouds? Is it because it's Kid Wire? And another person will say the same thing, and people will just, you know, not bat an eyelid. I do not understand, you know, and this is where I seriously have issues with bb niger fans your faith will do something and oh it's cool and that another person does it who is not your favorite and all of a sudden you guys are looking for agendas and logics behind it how bad no how bad i mean even um erica's um prank made a lot of people started like a lot of people started talking trash and i'm like it's just a prank now cool done i mean erica was not the only one that had um an april fool's day prank that's why i really didn't do the video yesterday because a lot of the gist i got i was like uh are you sure this is a real gist or april fools anyways um v also decided to prank her fans as she posted this um picture i think this is a sonogram or something i don't know what it's called that picture that you take of your baby while they are still developing in the womb yes and she posted it and said we can't wait to meet you and people of god hey the new v shippers we are going hey why they were like oh my goodness we are gonna be having a little new or a little v and i'm like can't you people can't you people see that it's april fool's day like seriously the, i mean think about it do you think that Neo and V are the kind of people that when they're having a baby, the baby is not even born? I mean, we saw her at the Budweiser um, remix with YC. We see there's no protruding belly. And at that early stage, she will actually come out and post this. Are you guys being serious right now? How gullible can BB Niger fans be? Seriously? And well, it turned out to be an April Fool's Day prank. Good for those people. Good for those people. Anyways, um... A very big congratulations to V. Like I said, she was at the Budweiser remix with YC. They remixed um the song. Um, I think the song is by MI. That song, I would like to take you on a ride. Yeah, that song. And they did great. I mean, YC is really, really underrated. That guy ate up the verses, the rap verses. And V did a good job on those verses. Congratulations to them. And still on the April Fool's Day, I told you guys a lot of April, April Fool's Day prank happened yesterday. Now, this one was done by the one and only Machala himself, Wizkid. Now, Wizkid posted this on his Instagram story and he said, New album tonight. Ah, Whiskey FC everywhere was like, ah, new album is coming. New album is coming. I mean, uh, Made in Lagos is still on the charts and he's about to release a new album. When I saw this, I'm like, uh, <laughs> this has got to be a prank. Like, this has got to be a prank. And I was proved right when he later posted this picture of this guy. I just knew that it was a prank. This guy just pranked his fans. Well, it's all good. Yes, but what's um news that came out yesterday that was not actually a prank was this of lacon now lacon is about releasing his newest album shall we begin and it will be released on the 30th of this month he posted this and said happy new month today marks the beginning of a new journey my album this is totally yours made by me and a few of my friends just for your listening pleasure i had so much fun creating it and i pray listening to it it gives you as much joy and satisfaction as I experienced when making it. So thank you for your patience, for trusting the process, for sticking with me, and for holding my hands through this journey. From my team and I, we say, shall we begin? And I say, yes, we shall. I cannot wait to listen to this. I mean, I've listened to Wagwan um, and the other one. I've forgotten the title of the song. I think my favorite so far is Wagwan. Anyways, Wagwan. And I cannot wait to see what Lekon will bring out. I really, really am anticipating for this so that a lot of naysayers will shut up. Yes, guys. Now, away from um, Lekon, let's go over to the one and only one named Fraud, the slow tiger himself. Now, he posted this picture of him in a car with this lady's hands and he captioned it and said, That's my hand, my car, my chain. If you zoom, you're on your own. Now, 
a lot of people started so asking question is it that um fraud has gotten over esther of the upper echelon <laughs> if you watched last year reunion you should know what i'm talking about the upper echelon you know is it that fraud has gotten over her and has another labu who is this girl or oh, wait is it actually some kind of april fool's day prank well a lot of people were speculating and fraud was not ready to give us the answer whatever it is if he has found love again congratulations to him now away from fraud let's go over to some david do news now um with kids um first baby mama or the second um oluwani shola yes has come out to profess her love and support for her sister chioma who is um davido's ex-fiance now a lot of you will be like isn't it why are you calling chioma davido's ex-fiance well isn't that obvious there is a very big crack in the whole chivido um i think that's what it's the whole chivido ship yes the center can no longer hold as chioma has gone ahead to wipe off all the pictures that she took with davido from her page i mean go to her page it's Instagram page right now and you would not see anything that smells like the video maybe baby funny but apart from that you will really not see anything that looks like the video right there so that sends a message when women do that <laughs> she's doing a cleaning of the house and you know what I mean it means out of sight is out of mind at this moment anyways back to with kids first baby mama she put this out and said the love I have for Choma is inexplicable weird but i just find myself unconsciously praying for her defending her anytime and anywhere so spiritual lol but may god continue to bless and strengthen her and do that which is best for her now and forever and we say amen i love this i love this whole women supporting women women encouraging other women who has been in the same situation that they have been before and I, I admire Choma, whatever um whatever part she chooses to take at this moment. I mean, there's a lot. There's so much one person can take. I mean, if you continue disrespecting me in the in the view of a lot of people, whether they are married or not, as far as in the eyes of everybody, and you know, we are together. There's so there's so much somebody can take. So my prayers are with Choma, whatever decision she is making, let her continue. And from her recent videos, you could see that baby girl is actually handling it well i mean i just hope this is not just for the media i hope that this also translates to how she is on the inside when there is no one there yes guys so that's it from me guys thank you very much for being part of my channel so which of this april fool's day prank got you i know a lot of you fell for my april fool's day prank where i told you that we skate and um, follow the video on all social media platforms and also that he apologized to the video a lot of you fell for it and I, like you guys made my day yesterday i was laughing and laughing and laughing so apart from mine which a lot of you fell for which other april fool's day prank did you fall for let me know in the comment section so guys that's it from me thank you so very much for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed you know what to do kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video and hey thank god it's friday and it's not just any other friday it's good friday so take care of yourself have fun and till i come your way again i remain your darling girl azine williams have yourselves a beautiful day ahead bye guys